Hello there, everybody. We're outside and we're preparing to make some smashing Eggs Benedict bacon burgers. Now, if you want to know what that is, stick around. They are smashing. We are starting off, obviously the fire is going, and we are starting off with prepping some onions to actually go into the fire, and they're going to go nice and sweet, and then we're going to take this and put that on our burger as well. Don't worry about it, you don't need to peel the onions, they're going into some foil, and you wrap them up, and then you just toss them in the fire. So that's what I'm going to do now. There we go, prepped and ready to go. So as soon as the coals are ready, we're going to dunk these in there and then they can start baking away. Right, we're ready for the onions. I'm going to put them in now. The fire is still going, but onions take quite long, so I'm going to go for it now. Okay, it's time to bry. Here are the delicious beef burger patties and a packet of streaky bacon. Let's bry. Patty number one. All right, all the meat is done. Lovely crispy bacon and burger patties. And now it's time to toast the buns. Right, now it's time to make the hollandaise sauce so that it becomes Eggs Benedict Burger. So we start off with two egg yolks. You separate your eggs. So I put them into the blender. Then it is followed by a tablespoon of lemon juice. There we go. And a teaspoon of mustard. You can use whichever mustard you have or your favorite one. We have got whole grain mustard. We're gonna get a teaspoon of that. Into the blender too. Then it's just a pinch of salt and we add a pinch of smoked paprika, so I'm just going to do a crank and a shake. There we go. Now it's time to pop the lid on the blender, start running the blender, and once everything is blended up nicely, we add a half a cup of melted butter, which I've prepped already over here, don't want to pour all the butter out, but there you go, half a cup of melted butter into the blender as it's running, slowly adding it so you make a nice sauce. Helps that it doesn't split. Right, here we go, so we want to make a nice noise now. Let's hope that worked. Open it up. Ah, oh, lovely, creamy, homemade hollandaise, which is gonna go on our burgers. Right, just need to finish unwrapping the onions. They smell divine. Doing them in the fire. Don't worry when you open it and you see that it's meant to look like that. The outer layer chars slightly, but if you peel it back, you get the sweetest, most delicious onion you've ever had in your life. With the sauce made and everything else ready to go, it's the last one just to fry an egg. I know Eggs Benedict is usually made with poached eggs, but we're doing it a little differently. It is a burger after all, so we're going to make some fried eggs. So I've got a pan on the stove over here, just get some oil in the pan. Crack your eggs in a cup or something like that, you never know. You don't want a rotten egg going into the pan. That one's good. There we go. Time 
time to put it all together. Okay, build the burger. First, we start with a bed of tomatoes. Sliced tomato. Lovely. Then we take our onions. Sweet, delicious, fire-baked onion. Very nice. Get your burger patty. Smack that on top. Bits of bacon. Just lay that across your patty. And top off with a fried egg. And now for the sauce. Top of the bun on. And get that burger in your mouth. Mm. Look at those layers.